Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman and we are here once again showing you how to build another one of my mocks. This time it's Kossi, the captain of the guard. Kossi is the self-mock of the very popular and very social mock pages mock builder, Ben Kossi. If you'd like to check out his mocks and what he does, you can click the I in the top right corner of the video and it'll take you directly to, to Ben Kossi's YouTube channel or you can click the link in the description to go to his mock pages. Without further ado, we will begin with the mock, and as usual, we will start with the legs. Alright, so beginning with the legs, these are the parts you'll need. As usual, whenever you see the parts laid out like this, feel free to pause the video, gather everything you see, and build whatever you can. To start with, take this foot and put the pins and axles in the sides, just as you see here. Then go ahead and take this Technic piece, put two, uh, uh, one length pins with a stud on the end on either hole and then put it in the back of the Mata foot and then push all the pins in just like that then on the two exposed pins or exposed studs just put that little vent brick and set that down that's the foot for the lower leg it's entirely custom first let's begin with this half of a Borak skull, take one of these, uh, take half a hinge piece here, put it on the uh, side just like that, and then put a, uh, a little cone brick on the inside. These are all greebles to uh, mimic Ben Kossi's older, more unique style of greebling. Uh, go ahead and build this construction with the um, Mystico wing on it, and attach that to the inside on that middle pin hole, just like that and then set that down. On the other half of the Borak skull we're going to put a corner piece just like that and then on the top of these two axle holes we're going to stick a three long axle with a, with a ball joint and another three long axle below it and then we're going to place this Technic piece on it with another two uh, half pin half studs and stick those on just like that. Next we're going to take this Technic connector with the blue pin and stick that on the inside of the connection like so. And then take this Anika neck, or no, uh, Glatorian neck piece, put a stud pin in there and then put a uh, one by one brick on there. Two long pin, stick that on the side of that Technic connector and then turn it inwards just like that. Then build this whole construction here, this is all just really for filler. And then on the exposed blue pin, just stick that in the pinhole, like that. Then combine the two halves of the Borak skull, and you get this. Then go ahead and take this Hero Factory armor add-on piece, and on the two lightsaber rod size pins down there, stick those on the front, just like that, and that's his lower leg. Now for his upper leg, this is very similar to Gameth's leg design. Take a five long Technic beam, put a uh, brick over the end of it like so, and then put two hand connectors on either hole just like that. Then go ahead and set that down, grabbing this Borak shield and two three long pins with a stud on the end. Put those in the two pin holes and then line them up with the holes on the hand connectors. And push them straight through just like that till you get something like that. Then go ahead and attach a one by three plate onto the end of that to cover up the gray. Then on the inside we're gonna take this um, dagger piece, put a half, a one and a half length pin on it and a washer and stick that on the empty hole on the um, or the exposed pin on the Barak shield. Then take this angled Technic lift arm piece, put a uh, one by one plate in there as well and then layer that over the whole thing to hold it in place. Then go ahead and put washers on the ends of that of those two, two exposed axles. Then last but not least you're going to take a hand connector, a very useful piece, and a washer all on a three long axle and stick that in the side of that hand connector like that to fill in all those gaps. And then last but not least take two one by one plates with a claw on the end and stick the stud in the side of the hand connector. Then go ahead and click everything together. So on that ball joint right there, snap those two pieces together. And then on the Anika or Glatorian neck down there, snap the foot on. And that is how you build Kossi's leg. 
and obviously this is mirrored so the other side will be the opposite and we will move on now to the arms all right now time for the arms these are the parts you'll need to start with let's begin with the upper arm so go ahead and grab both of these hand connectors as well as these two pins like so so put one two long axle on the side take a lift arm stick that on the side there then go ahead and take this four long lift or axle and attach the next hand connector and then obviously finish that off with the other lift arm this is a very basic structure for a custom limb then go ahead and flip that around like so take this um, take this wing piece and put that over the side just like that then go ahead and set that down we're gonna take this Rakshi foot now and stick this Technic connector right across the middle of it just like so Actually, we're going to take that back out and plug this piece in the side of that connector, just like that, and then put it back in, just like that. Then on the, uh, on the, take the two pieces and combine them like so, but before you push them all the way together, grab this piece and stick that in between, just like that. So you get something like this. All right, and now take this lift arm piece, just like so, and stick it right on the front hand connector, just like this, just like that. Then take this Metru armor, put it onto the exposed axle, and then cap it off with a washer. Then flipping it back around, take this washer and stick that on the exposed axle, just like that. And then last but not least, add a Borak eye onto the back, just like so. And that's the upper arm. For the lower arm, it's much simpler. It's just a uh, Vaki um, lower leg piece. Take a uh, one by one plate, stick that on the bottom in or on the front middle hole. Then take this angled Technic piece, put a uh, stud pin spin, a spin, a stud pin, right there. Push that in just like so, and add two washers on either side. It's just to fill in the gaps on the bionicle piece. Then, last but not least for the hand, it's just a simple Gringat hand design, built just like you see here. My other, tutorial, my other tutorials go into much greater detail on these. And there you go, thumbs up. Now let's snap everything together. And there you go. That's how you build Kasi's arms. Obviously they're mirrored, and you will need to. And now we will move on to the torso, the first part of the torso. Alright, now for the first parts of the torso, these are the chunks you will need. To start with, let's take these parts right here, go ahead and combine these just like so, as well as adding these two Technic parts on top of that section right there to get something like that. Set that down, then go ahead and take a five long Technic lift arm, put the pins in the assigned holes. Then take a Metru chestplate armor and on the bottom front just take that and put it in the bottom hole. Then take these two constructions made out of skid plates and Lego studs and stick those on the half pin half axle or half pin half studs on the Metru armor just like that. And set that down. And then last but not least take this Technic construction and simply put these two pins in the bottom just like that. Most of Kasi's torso is built out of small little chunks like these, so let's move on. Alright, for our next chunk, these are the parts you'll need. Go ahead and start with this Vaki torso, or Vaki waist, I should say. Take two of these Technic uh, angle connectors and stick them just on like that. Then take this new piece with the Borak eye on it, and stick that in the bottom hole on the back, just like that. Then flip it back around. Take this Technic connector, just like so, and stick it in the middle of the Vaki waist and pin it down. Then next we will, uh, we will take this piece and stick a uh, half pin, half axle with a ball on the end, just like that. Stick it in like there, and then connect it just like that over the end. Take a five long axle, slide it all the way through. To get that, it's evenly spaced off on either side. 
Then take two very useful pieces as well as in this configuration. Stick one on this side, pointing that way, and the other, stick it on this side, just like that. Then, last but not least, attach two Barak eyes on that exposed axle. And straighten it out, and that's that chunk done. Moving on. Alright, for this next chunk, these are the parts you'll need. Uh, you'll need two of these, and you'll need to mirror them, so build just as I see here. Take a Hordi connect, put a three long pin on it, and two washers on either side. Take a old hand connector piece with a uh, blue pin on the outside. Then go ahead and use that ages old technique of putting these two pieces together and then sliding an axle through to create a very stiff but functional connection. Put a ball joint on the end of that three long pin you just stuck through and angle them at a slight angle. Build two of them and mirror them of course and that's that part done, moving on. All right, for this next part, these are the parts you'll need. Go ahead and start with this uh, old Mari armor. Take uh, these two, these three chunks, and stick them together just like so. So put the put that Technic connector pin through the uh, Mari or through the Mata neck piece, and slide that straight through the middle hole of the Mari armor. And then on the outside, put a washer just like that. Then take another five long axle, stick that straight through the corner hole of that Mari armor piece just like so. Then go ahead and attach two um, Technic connectors on either side with a one and a half long pin on it. And then last but not least, take a five long half length or half width uh, beam and just attach that onto the uh, pins like so. And that's that part done, moving on. All right, this is the final part of Kasi's torso design. To start with, we will take this Anika shoulder piece and this four long pin with a stopper on the end. Stick that in the bottom hole, and then take a ver blue very useful piece, and stick that on the inside and lay it all the way down just like that. Then as well on the inside, take a stud pin, stick that on the inside by the stud part, not by the pin part, just like that. Then set that down. Take all these pieces that you see in the middle here, line them up like so, put a uh, three long pin with a stopper on the end and a, a stud just like that. Then go ahead and put a one by one plate and a Lego stone on the end, just like that. Then lining it up with the axle hole on that pin right there, just stick that straight through the middle, like so. Then set that down, go ahead and take these parts and layer them on like so. So on either side of the uh, Glatorian neck, go ahead and put these two Technic angle connectors, just like that. Then. Go ahead and line those up with the holes on the Anika armor up front. Put two more four long pins with stoppers on the ends through the front, like so. You get something like that. Then go ahead and take this three long lift arm piece, put a blue pin on the middle, and then go ahead and attach two Borak eyes on just like that. If that'll go on, there we go. And that is the last piece done. Next I will show you how to put it all together. Alright, go ahead and gather up all your parts. Be sure to also add these three uh, size 4 CCBS armor shells, as you will need those to finish filling up uh, Kasi's torso. Go ahead and start by taking this big center piece. Just a quick note, I had to move this blue Borak eye pin up one hole, so don't forget to do that. Um, Go ahead and start by attaching this piece to the bottom, just like so. So this pin will go into the bottom hole, and that pin will go into the another hole, just like that. If I can get it to line up, there we go. So build that, then go ahead and grab your two uh, Hordika neck constructions. Stick that on either side of the torso, just like so. Alright, next take your um, Anika shoulder plate piece construction and then this chunk slide that on the uh, exposed axle just uh, that the upper gray exposed axle just like so then go ahead and slide the whole thing on to the entire torso just like that and it should fit perfectly into place okay Next, go ahead and take the uh, back armor piece 
and go ahead and attach these two blue pins into these two holes on the armor, just like so. And everything should line up perfectly until you get something like that. Next we're going to fill in some gaps, so go ahead and take this T Technic Beam piece and stick that on the exposed pin up top, just like so. And then these two Technic connections are where the uh, bow and arrow will be stored on his back later. So go ahead and fold those together, just like that for now. Then last but not least, gather up your CCBS armor shells. And then on the back, on this exposed ball joint, stick the first one, just like so. And then on the, these two exposed ball joints up here, stick the next two. And they should angle at a nice, eye-pleasing grade, I don't know. And that's Kossi's torso. Go ahead and attach your Glatorian head and your Hero Factory mask, Hero Factory Surge mask. And that is Kossi's head as well. Very simple. And next we will show you how to build his sword. Alright, for Kossi's sword, these are the parts you will need. To start with, let's begin with taking these pieces and snapping them together just like this. Like so. These pieces are sort of loose and dangling there, but that's alright. Take these two bow rock eyes and slide them on either side just like that, of that pin, or that axle I should say. And set that down. Next we'll take these two parts and combine them like so just like that. And then we'll take these two parts and snap them on either side on those two long pins. So you get something like that. And then that will slide directly in to that lift arm piece, just like so. Then you will add two axle extenders onto either side, just like so. And then, next, take this rubber band and on the first axle extender, wrap it around. Then extend it over the end of that piece and then wrap it around the other end. You might have to put it on like this at first and then slide it up in a second. Take two Liwa Katana sword pieces and stick them on either extender. And then go ahead and roll your rubber band up like that so you get something like that and then go ahead and take this uh, surge lightning weapon piece and stick that onto the uh, open axle hole on that Technic, connect Technic connector then take this handle piece and just stick that on the end and that is how you build Kasi's sword next I will show you how to build his amazing bow alright now for Kasi's bow and arrow these are the parts you'll need Start, to start with, I'll just show you a close-up of the bow. This is pretty self-explanatory. The only real thing you really need to know is that there's a little robot claw hand on the end of that axle extender there. And the this axle, or this connector, doesn't actually have to be at anywhere on the uh, arrow there. But yep, that's all you have to do for that. Pretty self-explanatory. For the bow itself, there's actually a non-Lego element to it and that would be the string here. This is like an elastic band or something from a uh, like a um, friendship bracelet making kit that was in my sister's room. She uh, let me use some of it and it makes a nice elastic little stretchy bow string for bionicles so I use that. Um, just a quick note on how I connected it. I'm not going to untie it because it would be extremely hard. It's like fishing line to show on camera. But it's tied around this part of this um, bionicle blade piece. And then after that it goes out and this little robot claw in this Mata hand has been twisted with this thing hooked around it. So it sort of tensions it as you twist it and that you adjust after you've built the bow so it stays nice and taut all the time as well as that there's a 
white rubber band jammed in there too. And a two long axle with two washers on the end. That should, the uh, rubber band should stay in front of those like so. And that's how you do that. So you build two of these constructions and tie the uh, bow string to it. Then for the actual construction of the bow, these are the parts. Go ahead and put three of these angle three Technic connectors together. And you'll also need two of these assemblies with a five long axle, a, um, a Technic connector, a ball joint, and a gear. Those go on either side. And on one of these, you're gonna wanna put a three long axle with two washers on it. And the other one, you're gonna wanna put a three long axle with one washer and a Technic connector with a blue pin on it sticking out and that's where you'll connect it to the torso. Alright, next take these two Technic connectors with two uh, lift arms on either side, stick them on either end like that, and then very simply just line them up, or put the rubber band around it first and then line it up with the hole on the modern neck piece in there. Put the pin in place, and do the same on the other side. So make sure, once again, make sure the rubber band's in front and put it over the whole thing. Then just line it up, pop the uh, axle in there. And then last but not least, add your two bits of CCBS armor to those ball joints. There and there. That's how you build the bow. To connect the arrow, you just take the uh, take the little robot hook, hook it onto the, um, the string there, and as you push back you can see the function is the bow stretches back and the blades extend. And it also sort of works as an actual bow, so if I pop that forward and pull back the string, the arrow flies. Next I will show you how to put Cossie together. Okay, and now last, for, last but not least for the final assembly, go ahead and grab the torso and the legs, snap the legs onto the leg joints, snap the arms onto the arm joints, there and there. And that's the figure himself done, and to store his bow, go ahead and string it around his arm and over his head and then flip out one of these two Technic connectors and then stick the uh, stick that plug basically straight into there and then last but not least take the arrow stick it behind the bow and I'm gonna go out like that and stick it straight in by that Technic connector Go. So we got that. Alright. Now his bow is over his shoulder. And last but not least, let's put the sword in his hand. Just like that. And that is how you build Kossi. And so guys, that is it. That is how you build Kossi, or my version of Kossi, to be exact. Please make sure to check out Ben Kossi on Mock Pages or YouTube. He's not very active nowadays, but he was a great inspiration and a great uh, mentor, sort of, for me to get as good as mocking as I am now. So thank you to Ben, and thank you for allowing me to use your self-mock in my story. For our next how to build, would you rather see Lemera, the Princess of Luna Magna, or Axon, the Pensive Paladin. Go ahead and cast your votes in the comments below, and whoever has the most votes by the next How to Build will be who the video is made of. So go ahead and get voting. If you don't like the options, feel free to check out Order Matanui files and, shoot and vote for your own. Kampaku 2016 had a lot of votes last time, so if you want to continue that trend, feel free to vote below too. If you'd like to build my version of Kossi, feel free to do so. Use any of the designs you see here, with or without credit, I don't care. 
The reason I say my version is because there are many other versions of Cossie, so if you were to use any of the designs from this mock or make a carbon copy of this mock, feel free to share it with me and I'll put you at the end of the video with the rest of the awesome people. Go ahead and share with me and I will feature you here. Alright guys, without further ado, that will be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next How to Build.